Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do an empties video. I haven't, I don't know if I've ever done an empties video. I'm kind of thinking I haven't, but maybe I have. If I have, I'll link it below. But anyway, I have this ginormous box of stuff that I've been saving for probably a couple months, like two months, two, three months. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what's in here. Um, right on top, I see this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. This is the pink top one. I know they have a blue top one and with the, I'm using that one right now. Um, and I thought I saw a video someone had used, um, there's like a yellow top one that's an oil-based one. And I have not seen that one in any of my stores locally. So this is the micellar water that I have been using the most. Um, it's good. It's all right. I don't, it doesn't burn my eyes. It doesn't sting. It does remove my makeup, um, even waterproof stuff fairly easily and quickly. Um, and it's affordable. It's from the drugstore. I've seen it in every drugstore that I've been in, Walmart, Target, um, CVS, Walgreens. So yeah, a couple of these. Um, some toothpaste, Colgate cavity protection. I'm not a big fan of this one. I like the, um, I think right now I'm using the Crest Radiance one. It's like supposed to make your teeth whiter in however many uses. So that's the one I'm using right now. Um, a MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus empty. I need to replace this because obviously it's all out and that's my favorite setting spray. So, okay. So the next thing is this Rituals Miracle Scrub Ginseng and Ginkgo Biloba Ultra Softening Hand Scrub. This is what I use um, when I'm doing my nails at home and it smells incredible and it's really hydrating and um, nourishing for your cuticles uh, and it sloughs off all the dead skin on your hands and I really like I really like this so I will be repurchasing that as well let's see some ibuprofen from Costco we go through a lot of ibuprofen in this house not as much Tylenol I don't know why Okay, then we've got a um, Pure Vanilla, the Healthy Body Butter Instant Hydration from La Vanilla. I got this, I can't remember, in either an Ipsy or a Beauty Box or Gl uh, Glossy Box or Beauty Box. What's the other one? Boxy Charm. I don't know. I got it in one of those. And I like it. I love the smell of this. And it makes your hands really... Um, feel really hydrated and not like not greasy some you know how some lotions you feel really greasy after you put it on I don't feel that with that one deodorant um, this is the invisible solid secret pH balanced powder fresh this is the one that I typically use all the time I like it a lot uh, another toothpaste. This is Colgate Optic White Express White. Whiter teeth in three days. Um, I didn't mind this one, but I do prefer the Crest one. So. Um, here we have a lip balm. Victoria's Secret Soothing Lip Balm. This is the clear one. Um, I do have a pink one going right now but it took me forever to get to the to the bottom of this thing. And yeah, it lasted a really long time. And I really like it. This is the one that I put on my, my lips um, at night before I go to bed. Alrighty. 
Now, this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Buildable Luminous Foundation in the shade C4. This is my favorite um, foundation to use in like the springtime and early summer because if I use it in late summer, it just melts right off my face. But I love this foundation. This is the one that there's, ooh, if I can open it, there. It's just a sponge and you just, you know, dip into it. Is there a tiny bit? There's not even a little bit on my hand. That's how used up this product is. But yeah, I will repurchase that in the spring. Uh, here's a mascara, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, full size. Um, I do... I used to like this mascara a lot better. This, I like the brush, I like the wand, um, but it just is so dry. And I don't remember like the last time that I used this. It was a travel size, so maybe that is the difference, I don't know, but it was not as dry. This is super dry, like I can't even it feels like nothing is coming off onto my lashes when I apply. So I probably will not, I will not be repurchasing at least a full size. Okay, now. I have issue with this dry shampoo. This is the Batiste. And I have Sassy and Daring Wild and the Hint of Color Medium and Brunette. Every single time I use this brand particular, but most dry shampoos, my hair falls out. Like literally just clumps of it fall out. That's not cool. I cannot deal with that. So I don't use dry shampoo at all anymore. I, it took me a while to figure out what was making my hair do that. And when I realized that it was dry shampoo, I was like, oh, hell no. I don't need to use some dry shampoo if those are the results. So, no more dry shampoo for me. I'm not doing that. Okay, next is the Victoria's Secret Ultra Rich Cream Wash and Hydrating Body Lotion in Coconut Milk. Um, I also have the body oil and I did have the shower gel or yeah shower gel stuff but I apparently must have thrown that away but I really like the way that these smell my skin feels okay after using these you know how some some um, soaps make your skin feel really tight or not hydrated this doesn't make me feel like that, but it also doesn't make my skin feel like super nourished. So I probably will not repurchase, um, even though I really, really love the scent of these. All right, next is Herbal Essence Tussle Me Softly Mousse Flexible Hold. Um, I don't like this mousse. I have to put mousse in my hair otherwise it frizzes like out to here. But this one just really makes my hair crunchy and I don't I don't like that. Like that's not that's not cool. I don't like crunchy hair. So I will not be repurchasing that brand. There's a couple of mascaras down in here. Um, this is the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost. I don't like this one either. The brush on this one, I have a problem with. Like it doesn't, I don't know, it's, it doesn't come to a nice tip down here so there's you know trouble getting to the inner lashes or right on the outer corner. But I don't like this formula at all. It does nothing for me. And again, it doesn't feel like anything is um, coming off of the brush onto my lashes. So yeah, big fail. Next is the Nelson J. Beverly Hills Moisture Healing Mask. Argan Oil 7 Formula. 
delivers a combination of multi-benefits, detangles, controls frizz, prevents hair color fading, seals split ends, protects from chlorine and salt water, restores silkiness and shine, enhances natural body. I did really like this. Um, it says directions for quick treatment and repair after shampoo, apply moisture healing mask to towel dried hair. A for deeper repair, leave mask and hair and set under dryer steamer for five minutes or B for quick instant repair, leave mask and hair for one minute. Um, and then it has directions for protecting your hair against chlorine and salt water and directions for pre-wash treatment. So I have used this in all the different ways and I like it all the different ways. So I will probably be repurchasing this. I did really like it and it smells really good. Ugh. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells just really fresh and clean. Okay. Um, this is the Hard Candy Glow All The Way infused with 24 karat gold doll face face and body luminizer. Doll face is the shade. It's the, the pink, pink one. sell these anymore. I got this a couple years ago at Walmart. That's where they sell hard candy. Um... And I just don't find myself reaching for it anymore, so it is time to get rid of it. I have a couple of um, shave soaps. So the first one is by WSP. Um, this is their Rustic Shaving Soap in Vetiver is the scent. Vetiver smells really good. Oh, can I even open this? Um, so yeah, this is just a shaving soap in here. Um, and it's all gone, so it's an empty tin. And I can't even get it open right now. So I'm not going to try. But it smells really good. The second shave soap that I used up is by um, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Um, and this is the Desert Margarita uh, chamomile. This was a, um, like a one-time only thing for a meetup that was held here in the valley. Um, they made this soap specifically for that meetup and it just, it smells really good. It smells like lime and there's also, I think there's an aftershave that goes with this that we also have that my husband uses after he shaves his face. Okay, we're getting to the bottom here. I have a couple of, looks like one pair, um, of lashes. This was the Salon Perfect number 614s. Obviously, there's no lashes in here. I probably just threw them in the trash. Um, but I do have a couple more packs of these down in my vanity, so I do like those. The 614s remind me of the Ardell Wispies. So, um, I have a lash glue. This is the Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive. And uh, this one, it's not completely gone, but it was old, so it was like clumping up. So that's why I threw it out. Yeah, you can see all the nastiness on the brush. But I do like this lash glue. I have another one, a new one, open on my vanity. And then I have a couple of um, eyebrow pencils that are all used up. Uh, this one is from Chella. Tantalizing taupe eyebrow color. Yeah, that's all that's left. So just this little teeny tiny amount. I did like this. I probably will not repurchase because there are others that I like better but it did in a pinch when I ran out of my favorites. Um, another one is this Maybelline New York Define a Brow. This one is not my favorite. I don't like this one. Yeah, there's nothing even left in that one. This one has a little comb on the end of it instead of a spoolie. And I, I don't like the little comb thing, but I didn't like this one. It didn't, um, it, I feel like it didn't deposit any color onto my brows when I was filling them in, so. And then I have a NYX Micro Brow uh, in the shade Ash Brown. And this one is my favorite. I have another one in use now. 
Okay, then I have these two Wet n Wild mascaras. Did not like either of these. Um, the pink one is the Max Volume Mascara. I, I just didn't like either of these. They didn't deposit a lot of um, product onto my lashes. They didn't define, they didn't lengthen or volume. Uh, and this one is the Max Fanatic. So yeah, I will not be repurchasing those. Uh, First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. I did like this. This came in my Sephora play box a couple months ago, I believe. And I really, really like this. So I will try be uh, purchasing a full size. Okay, and then we've got this Milani uh, lip oil. There's nothing even on the bottle anymore because I've used it so much that it's rubbed off. But this was the coconut one. Yeah, it's just number 01, Milani. And it's got kind of a, you know, funky applicator. Um, but I really like this, obviously. I will be repurchasing. And a HK Girl Fast Drying and Super Shiny Clear Top Coat. We have used all of that up. I did like this. Right now I'm using Sesh Vite, um, but I will probably be placing another order for another bottle of HK Girl. And the last thing is this sample of Happy Dance by um, Perfectly Posh Hand Cream. I did go ahead and place an order for a mask that I had gotten a sample of. Um, it's the Giving Me Life one, so I will be doing a review coming up soon on that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is it for my empties. Um, yeah, if you guys like these videos, let me know and I'll continue to hoard my crap. Um, and we'll do another one of these in a couple months. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.